Good morning. It is Friday. It's June 5th. It's time for our high five. Let's come up a little bit higher with the things of God. Today I want to talk about uh, biblical astronomy. I'm not going to talk about astrology because astrology is actual witchcraft. You don't want to have anything to do with the horoscope uh, or, or astro astrology. But astronomy is biblical uh, science. It's it, it's uh, astronomy is actually the science of the heavens, and uh, biblical science is connecting them to the things of God. Now, when I was asking the Lord, what do you want me to share on Friday? There's so many things I could be talking about, and he kept talking about the full moon. And I was wondering, what's so special about the full moon? I haven't heard anything about the full moon this week, but the moon has been absolutely beautiful. It's uh, tonight, or actually, um, let me see. Uh, 3 12 p.m. Eastern Time, so it'd be uh, 2 12 today at Central Time. It'll be totally full. Now, we won't see it until tonight, but it will be a full moon, and it's called a full strawberry moon. It's called that by the Native Americans in the northern states because it's a time when, when there would be the strawberries would be in full. Uh, you know, they could, you know, eat the strawberries you know you almost mix your mouth water it's also called a wool uh, a rose moon when when the roses start coming out uh where it's going to it but it's going to be a so it's going to be a lunar eclipse it's called a prenumbral prenumbral and it means it's just a partial it's not going to be a full blood moon but it it may be partly pink uh, it's going to be, the lunar eclipse is uh, in Asia, Africa, Europe, and um, Asia, Australia, Europe, and Africa. So when I was looking at this, Israel is going to be underneath that partial lunar eclipse. Now this, again, as at 2.12 p.m., we will not see it up here. But as I was thinking about that, today begins... The, the day in 1967 when a six-day war began. The interesting thing about this uh, solar eclipse is the moon is going to be over Scorpio, over the bright red star. And I'm going to read from Bullinger's The Witness of the Stars. Sorry, I'm always giving everything backwards, but that's the way it is right here. Uh, in the Signs in the Heavens, where it tells about uh, Jesus from birth to coming back. This is a sign of the Redeemer's conflict. Uh, Scorpio in Hebrew is a crab, A-K-R-A-B, and it, which is a name of a, con, of, of, a, of a scorpion, but it also means conflict or war. And, the, and where the, the, uh, the eclipse is going to be is over the brightest star in the heart, uh, it has the, the name Arteris, which means wounding. Um, and it's a red star. And so when I was thinking about that, I'm thinking, you know, Israel is going to be having the, uh, sometimes these kind of uh, happenings, heavenly happenings, uh, the Lord is asking us to pray. And I believe he's asking us to pray for Israel. So I went uh, to Israel's news. Um, I, I have their 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 news line where it gives you all their news and israel's airport authorities have just gone on strike for because during the lockdown they had not been getting paid so they're totally going on strike everything in an airport has been has shut down for two hours um, another thing the last several days i've been getting a lot of news that there is great conflict in syria they believe that Israel did um, did some bombing attacks. It's not hit the national news. It's more like uh, something happened over there, and I think it's Israel. Uh, but Russia has been sending jets, fighter jets, into Syria. So it's not Israel fighting with Syria. It's Israel fighting with Russia, which, you know, people keep an eye on that because of the Gog and Magog war that is uh, said to be happening pretty soon. Uh, tomorrow also a red asteroid, or, or an asteroid is gonna, that's taller than the Empire State Building is, um, is going to be uh, 
they said it's going to be passing the earth now if it the only way it would uh it would hit the earth is if it if it deviated and it and it made a um uh, an adjustment and and then it's pulled to earth with by the gravity but uh, they don't see this happening so those are just some of the things that are happening and some of the things that God wanted me to point out to you today uh, signs in the heavens and pray for Israel basically what that that's what everything that I got boils down to so in a few hours Shabbat begins in Israel so they will be under Shabbat during the uh, the lunar eclipse, par partially lunar eclipse. So God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Amen. Bye-bye.